at where the yard line is. That's his first handoff of the day. He's had some big carries this year. He's been not on that one. And the Longhorns are having some problems moving the football, and that just doesn't happen to us very much. Whit Harrell, obviously a heck of a ball club coming into this game. Showing why they are ranked ahead of the Gordon Longhorns in the Huskers report, and just behind the Longhorns in sixth and illustrated. Second and call it a long 12 from the 21 yard line. So see if this is back to Sizemore. Sizemore looking for a receiver now. Has the receiver open at the 40, but overthrows him. That was number 22 for the Longhorns, Jake Counter. Uh, he had made a break at about the 35 yard line. He had a step or two on Michael Lopez on coverage. Size more over three, so that's going to bring up a third, and again, let's call it closer to 13, actually, from the 21-yard line. See you back to pass this time, looking for a receiver. As the receiver, Tom Marina, and over throws him. He was wide open at the 40-yard line. And Kosia, perhaps the win, is starting some problems out there because both he and Size more just moments apart as well over through their intended position. And they'll get, they'll get the wind for their back. Sizemore standing at the 10-yard line. We expect him to put the ball away. He does. He gets a booming coming. That is a booming run. He is going to go out of bounds at the 4-yard line. That is beautiful. Indeed it is. That is going to be a punt of 56 yards to the 4-yard line. And Sizemore got it up in the air. Spiral that turned over. And if you're going to have to punt the football away in six man football, that's the way you want to do it right there. That's the way you want to do it in any kind of football. That's a great punt. That's such a good punt in the NFL right here. Panthers have first and 15 from the four yard line. Lopez in the tight formation, he's in the back. And breaking out of the tackle and pass the 10 yard line. Is number 12 for the Panthers, that's Brandon Rogers, and I believe that's going to be the last play of the first quarter. Indeed it is. You're listening to Gordon's Longhorn Football on KYFF. Now he's at the 20 and down the sideline, not out of bounds, at the 15-yard line. 
That was Jason Steinborn knocked him out of bounds, but it was a couple of the Longhorns who missed him at about the 25. Tom Marino missed him, and I believe that may have been Cosia that missed him outside the 20 yard line. So he boosted it inside, deeper into Gordon territory at the 16. That's going to bring up a third and three. So far, Rogers is three for 36. Three carry, 36 yards, all the way to 19 yard pass. Nine minutes, four seconds to go in the second 